This is the story of the run train part of the ILT 7 Avenue line. The fleet for the run train is all 62 A's. The run train is a local service train between South Ferry and Van Cortland Park, 242nd Street. Also, the run train has connections to select bus services like the M15, M23, M34, M39, M86, M60, BX6, and BX12s. The one train has major transfers like the R train at Whitehall Street, the F and L and PATH trains to New Jersey at 14th Street. Another PATH train at Cortland World Trade Center also has transfer to the 2 and 3 trains along 7th Avenue. Also, A, C, B, and D trains at 59th Street, Columbia Circle, and the B line at, to Westchester County at Bell Cotton Park. And also Metro North at 225th Street. <clears throat> so basically, the one train has a lot of transfers and connections on the west side of Manhattan. Also, the one train got some of the nice looking stations from modern stations like the New South Ferry and Cortland Road Trade Center to IRT classics like 168 and 181st Streets. 181st, I'm sorry. And it's also home to the deepest station in the subway system, which is 191st Street. Now, one may ask why then the MTA didn't continue with building both deep stations. The result reason is this. It's New York City, always busy 24-7, and ain't nobody got time to wait on the elevator. And for a local service, the one train is a bit fast. If you miss one train, another one will show up in about 5-7 to seven minutes. During rush hours, the one summons the ancient power of the 9 train, and either skip some stops or go express from 242nd Street if the one starts to back up. Now the history behind the one train began in 1904, though it's not the first line of the IRT. The one train was created to provide service along the west side of Manhattan and south of Times Square. In 1934, the one train once had an express service to New Lots Avenue in Brooklyn. On weekends and, sat on, and Saturdays, and evenings and Sundays, the one train also terminates at Flatbush Avenue, Brooklyn College. So basically, the one train pretty much went to Brooklyn at the time. But all of this nifty service was revised and finally ended on May 24th, 1976. Fast forward to 1988, the skip stop service began as a solution to speed up the one train service trying to bring back a high speed line like service. Now this skip stop service for the one train skips 125th, 157th, 207th, and 225th Street. And at that same year the 9 train was created to skip 145th, 181st, Dykeman, 215th, and 238th Streets. And the MTA was okay with the service since there's an express track in two sections. It was good at that time that added skip stop service for the six trains. This was all well and good till 2004 when the MTA discontinued the one night skip service and the nine train altogether. Now, the one train fell victim to a few disasters during the service, like the Fort George Tunnel disaster where a cave-in occurred killing 10 workers during the construction of the deep stations. Then on 9-11, the World Trade Center was under attack. 
The terrorists destroyed the Twin Towers. Not only destruction happened above, but also at the bottom when it collapsed into Cortland Street. The station collapsed and it took about 70 years at that time before Cortland Street starts to be rebuilt. We named, finally got rebuilt. We named it Cortland World Trade Center. Then on March 16, 2009, the new South Ferry Station opened, replacing the original Loop Station. That was good until Superstone Sandy happened, which flooded the station, forcing the original South Ferry to reopen while the current station was going to repairs. In conclusion, the one train not only have a lot of history, a lot of interesting architecture, but also speedy service and good connections throughout the west side of Manhattan and parts of the Bronx. Now, if I miss anything or you have your own thoughts, feel free to comment below. Until then, this is Shadow signing off. See you in the next. See you next time. Thank you for visiting us at Shadow Production. If you like what you saw, click on any of these videos for more content. See you next time.